approaching the magic, you know, mm -hmm. visual effects and, and the stylistic style that is, again, we started with what's out there, the, what is the current vernacular for magic in our real life. And from there, we wanted to merge those elements of fantasy. So a fireball has to look like a fireball, a, an ice wall has to look like an ice wall. But at the same time, once we merge in the rule sets that we have created for this world and some of the more creative things we've seen out there, you know, that's how would the casting look? Uh, in Forge of Blood, our spellcrafting is uh, done basically in three stages. First, you will select the type of spell you want it to be based off the primordial energy. And then after you select that, you can apply effects to it, such as uh, teleport or fire damage or uh, healing, things of that nature. And then after that, you can also modify the effects and modify the spell in general. An easy example that most people would understand would be a fireball. So you simply, with an expel thermal, uh, you, you would be able to do a fire damage. But you can also alter the fire damage with things such as follow, so the fireball would actually follow the character, continuously doing damage to the other characters around it. You could then attach a uh, teleport effect to it, so it would teleport the characters to an area before dealing the damage. Or you can add, uh, also modify it with things such as virus, so that every character that approaches that character would also take damage. We have uh, a magic system that is grounded in this sort of hard fantasy feel that is fired by a creature. That immediately sets the tone that the magic itself has to be a bit more primordial. But at the same time, there is a control to that. In the casting, we have to, uh, you know, we relied on the sigil to denote that control. But at the same time, the, the output of the magic hitting the tile, hitting the, char the characters, that has to be magical. And that, and that you know, we drew from the more uh, familiar uh, fantasy themes that we've seen in the past.